Yolk Emulsions. Egg yolk emulsions produce smooth and creamy textures. Welcome to this training module designed to educate food formulators on how egg products can contribute to pleasant, creamy mouthfeel in all types of applications, from dressings, to sauces, to custards and puddings and ice cream and other confections. It is highly recommended that you also view the modules on crystallization and egg white foams as well as the one on refrigerated desserts which discusses protein coagulation. All of these egg functions, coagulation, crystallization, and foaming, as well as the focus of this module, emulsification, contribute to smooth and creamy textures in foods. Eggs do all this naturally. Smooth and creamy products can derive their texture from eggs. Each egg example contains one of the four functions, contributes to texture, coagulation, crystallization, foaming, and emulsification. So what exactly are emulsions and why are egg yolks so efficient at creating them? Here we can see that obviously oil and water will not mix when mixed up and left to settle by themselves. Very simply, an emulsion is a dispersed solution of two immiscible liquid phases. They are immiscible because of their oppositely charged molecular structures that naturally repulse each other. And the best example of this is oil and water. The creamy, smooth mayo is a perfect example of an egg emulsion. When the outer phase consists of water and the inner phase consists of oil, it is considered an oil in water emulsion. Mayonnaise and ice cream are two common examples of this type of emulsion. When this is reversed, or in other words, water is dispersed in oil, a water in oil emulsion exists. The most common examples of these are butter and margarine. The visual appearance of an emulsion depends on the droplet diameter with most food emulsions consisting of very fine droplets with diameters in the range of 0.15 to 100 micrometers. Such a fine particle size emulsion has a milky, creamy, and somewhat opaque appearance. These particles are undetectable by the human eye and indistinguishable by the human tongue. If we take a closer look, we can see what happens on a microscopic level when an emulsion occurs. Emulsions do not just happen. They are made and stabilized with the assistance from other emulsifiers, which are surface active agents that decrease the interfacial tension that exists between two oppositely charged molecules. Quality emulsifiers, such as egg yolks, prevent the fine droplets from aggregating and coalescing into a single large droplet. Emulsifiers are unique molecules as they have oppositely charged end. The polar end is hydrophilic, meaning it likes water and readily dissolves in water. The other end is hydrophobic, meaning it repels water. This end is also referred to as lipophilic as it has good solubility in phases such as oil or fat. So essentially, good emulsifiers are the interface of two immiscible liquids decreasing the natural repulsion they have for each other and ultimately bridging them together. Mayonnaise, ranch dressing, Alfredo sauce are all examples of products that rely on eggs for their creamy texture. Why is it important to the food industry? Well, so many of our foods rely on this so-called creaming of oil with water. Besides the products mentioned, other common examples include cream puffs and custard. Egg yolks are a choice emulsifier for these and many other applications as egg yolks are a concentrated source of a number of all natural emulsifying compounds, including phospholipids, lipoproteins, and lecithin. And in today's back to basics, clean label, food formulating environment, egg yolks appear on ingredient statements as very simply egg yolk. The emulsifiers in egg yolk function in a number of ways to produce the desirable creamy texture. 
For example, in custards and chocolate truffles, they can coat polarized liquids with fat to create a smooth, creamy texture. Here again, under the microscope, we can clearly see the droplets dispersed in the mayonnaise emulsion. The emulsifiers can also thicken solutions. For example, in mayonnaise, an entire cup of tiny oil droplets is packed into about two tablespoons of liquid to produce a thick spread. The more droplets of oil that are dispersed into the water phase, or in the case of mayonnaise, where the water phase could be vinegar or lemon juice, the thicker the emulsion becomes. Egg yolks are particularly desirable as an ingredient in ice cream mixes that do not contain hydrocolloids or synthetic emulsifiers. Not only do the yolks create a stable oil and water emulsion dispersing milk fat through the mix and prevent it from clumping, the yolks also help improve the mix's pump ability and whipping properties during manufacturing. The protein in egg yolks can also help to control density, hardness, and texture by encouraging the formation of small ice crystals. All of this contributes to the smooth, non-gritty frozen treat. A soft serve custard is a delicious example of an emulsion that we are all familiar with. Besides the all-natural disposition of egg yolks as compared to synthetic or chemical sounding emulsifiers, another benefit to using egg yolks as an emulsifier is their flexibility. As egg yolk stabilized emulsions can be cold or warm depending upon the fat or oil. Think mayonnaise, which is sold as an ambient temperature product and refrigerated after opening, and hollandaise sauce, which is prepared with heat and served warm. Depending upon the application, it is important to determine when egg yolks alone are necessary or if a whole egg product can be used. While a whole egg provides the yolk emulsifiers, it also provides the fat-free protein of the egg white, which can dry out products when the proteins coagulate and pull moisture out of the system. Further, some applications require extra emulsifying action. When this is the case, extra egg yolk will be used to support the whole eggs in a product formulation. Keep in mind that a number of factors can impact emulsion formation and stability. This includes agitation and ingredient addition. All variables considered, nothing beats the creamy, smooth emulsion produced using egg yolks as an all-natural emulsifier. A number of factors can impact the emulsification properties of egg yolk, and these should be considered during product formulation and manufacturing. For example, food manufacturers appreciate the convenience of dried and frozen egg products as they have a longer shelf life than their fresh refrigerated counterparts. The problem is that both freezing and drying can decrease the emulsifying ability of egg yolks. With freezing, low temperature causes a gradual denaturation of yolk proteins along with a gradual increase in viscosity. The freezing and thawing process also results in an irreversible gelation of the yolk. All of this decreases the capacity and stability of the emulsifiers found in the egg yolk. But don't write off frozen egg products too quickly. Egg product suppliers have learned that if they add 10% salt or sugar to the yolk prior to freezing, this protects against gelation. When such salted or sugared egg yolks are used, product formulators require simple adjustments for added salt or sugar. In fact, mayonnaise manufacturers commonly use salted yolks as an emulsifier, as mayonnaise is a salty condiment. And here's an added bonus. Egg yolk emulsion stability has been shown to increase in the presence of salt. As mentioned, drying yolk also can decrease their emulsifying capacity because lipids are released by the lipoproteins in the drying process. This reduces their power to decrease interfacial tension between the emissible liquids. Again, suppliers have identified that the addition of 5 to 10 percent sucrose before drying maintains the emulsification capacity of dried yolks. Thank you for viewing this training module on how to build a successful emulsion.